um, today's the 20th anniversary of falling in a fire and messing my hand up. You want to see? Here. Um, can you see that? Ah, you can focus. So you can see how I got a big scar on my finger. Makes the finger look all crooked and weird. I've shown this before, I think. I can't make my, my finger as uh, long as the other one. Like, this is the other one. And this one's got another little scar right here. But, like, it doesn't have that big... All that tissue, you know. My, my finger's shorter than the other one. Because it's the, the length of a pinky of a five-year-old. Um... I went to my parents' cabin, and I was there with my parents and my cousin and my other cousin, but not her um, brother. And or I think it was her cousin, actually. He wasn't related to me. But um, we were all fucking around because I was five and they were like 12 or something. And uh, I thought they were super cool adults. And... Um, one thing about my cousin Louise, always has a game, right? Like when I was a kid, that's my main impression of her. She always had a game. I think mostly because she didn't want to talk to the adults, but like always had a game, full of ideas, always had a project, right? She's alive. I mean, had a project when she was a little kid. Now she's got a kid of her own and she's a lot more mellow, I think, because um, the only thing that can match um, Louise in energy is an actual like four-year-old. Um, but anyway, we were fucking around and they'd done this, this, that thing that you do when you're a kid where you like, you do a joke once and then, um, you, you do a joke again, but then you, the second time you do it, you say, oh no, we're not going to do the joke this time. You lie. Right. And, um, then you do the joke again and, uh, it was just some harmless shit, like, like tickling me or, or chase me around or, or, I think one time they, they held me upside down, which was really interesting. Um, but they weren't, like, fucking with me. We were all, like, playing, right? And I am not the world's brightest person. And I can't read cues very well. Like, when people talk, I very infrequently can tell what they're thinking. Um, uh, but this is important for the story. So I, um, my cousin and, and her cousin were, uh, we were all out, outside and my grandmother loves to burn things. She's a big burning things person. Um, and so she had a custom fire pit that she built. It had a little ring of stones around it, right? And there wasn't a fire in it. I say I fell in a fire because it's fastest, but I actually fell into some hot ashes. Um, and I was wearing a plastic, um, jacket that I loved and I was wearing these pants that, apparently burnt to onto my skin um but uh my cousin and her cousin were in the little swing right next to the fire pit and they were like hey come up here and sit with us you know we, we promise we're not gonna fuck with you anymore we're done right and they i think they were uh, but i couldn't tell that they were sincere because i can very infrequently tell when people are sincere or lying so i assumed that they were lying and so i said oh no you're not gonna do uh, you're not going to get me, you know, I've, I've cottoned on to your schemes. And I didn't say, say that exactly. I actually don't remember what I said, but I said, oh no, you're not going to get me, you know. And I backed up and I, I remember Louise's face as she went like this. <laughs> because I backed up and I fell right into some, um, ashes where a fire had recently been. And I don't remember it hurting. I don't remember anything. I remember hearing someone screaming and it was me. And I didn't stop screaming until we got to the hospital, like 30, 45 minutes later. Um, I remember Louise throwing a bucket of dirty water on me. I remember the car as my dad took these um, country roads at like 60 miles an hour. I remember the wheels of the car leaving the side of the road. I remember my mom looking very concerned, not wearing a seatbelt, trying to sing a song with me to try and get me to stop screaming. And I couldn't sing the song and I didn't know why. And it was because I was screaming. Um, but I remember 
getting an IV, and I remember liking that a lot. Let me tell you something, I've only ever been in the hospital a couple of times, but if you can get an IV, it is way better than a needle. It is wonderful, right? It doesn't hurt, you get all the stuff you need right into your body, it's fantastic. Um, and I had to go to therapy for a long time. Um, not heart or mind therapy, but hand therapy to get my muscle control back. Um, because I couldn't use my hands for a long time. And that hurt. I remember the therapy hurt. But the thing about that kind of hurt is that it's at such a slower level, right? Like if you imagine a sound wave waveform, there's a top and a bottom. I tried to use this metaphor to explain therapy when I was going to, or I tried to explain anxiety when I was at my therapist's, when I had a therapist, but um, imagine audio waveform, right? There's a top and a bottom, and there's a wavy line, and audio that's too low, you can only extend so much before it starts to degrade. You really want it to be right in the middle, you know, ups and downs. But if it goes um, all the way to the top, it'll actually try and extend beyond the top, but it will only be recorded as a flat line, right? So, um, this is how I explained my anxiety for a long time, but it's kind of like someone turned the volume 20 decibels up on, or 20 or 30 decibels up on the anxiety I'm supposed to be having. So it's just sort of peaking all the time. And so it doesn't seem like very much because there isn't that much variation, but it's just like a lot, you know? Um, and my therapist was like, well, that's not good. But very much in the same metaphor of, of, of pain, when I went to my therapy for my hand, um, the pain was in a realm that I could register, right? It wasn't clipping in the way that it had been when I was hurt. Um, and that happened 20 years ago today. I was at my grandparents' house the same time I, I yelled at my um, dad's cousin. And my grandma keeps, um, she kept a daily log, a cabin log, because it was at her cabin, not her house. Um, and so every time she was up at the cabin, she would write in the, the cabin log for a long time. And then she had this fallow period where she just didn't write in it at all. And then she was trying to catch up. And at the right at the beginning of this catch up period, um, she writes the date that my hand happened in. I have a picture of it. I might post it or something. Um, that was 20 years ago. 